Hello, I'm Gustavo, and today I come to solve. One problem in one minute. You bought a metallic balloon, and now you don't know how to inflate it. It's okay. It will solve it quickly. Look, we're going to get it out. This is a pretty big new metallic. Has a giant number one already appeared? You've got the spike down here. Do you see if you tried to inflate it with your lungs? Did you realize that it doesn't inflate that way? Well, are we going to see how to inflate it, or with an OA lung inflator like you wanted? Come and look closely. It's an open work circle and a small eyelash that in this case is orange underneath. We're going to have to get inside to inflate it. Mind you, this is the peak of an electric pump. I would have to pass it like this, see? If you were to use a manual pump like this, which is pretty common, I also put the beak down there and it would fit this way, you see? There you inflate calmly. And if not, if you don't have an inflator, you have to use a straw. Put it here. And are you going to inflate here? Or much better because it is wider. You can use the stem of a pen. So, place it here. This way more air would pass through. We are going to try to inflate it. And after inflating it, we are also going to see how to deflate it. Let's inflate it like this. Ah, I'm getting a little red and out of air. Let's try a little with the manual pump. Ah, oh, it's a pretty big balloon. Let's go a little with the electric balloon pump. And yes, our inflated balloon. Luckily, I had the electric inflator that helped me a little. You have to inflate it enough until the lines disappear. The marks it brings from when it comes folded in the package. Now let's deflate it. Needless to say, it is not necessary to tie it. This balloon has a valve inside that does not allow the air to escape, but there is a way to get the air out. Just like here, I have a little pen tube that I used to inflate it at first. If I put it there at the peak, the air will not come out anyway. Yes, I need something thinner and longer. This stick is for a balloon holder, but you can also use a straw. I'm going to insert it for the same place that I put it today and I'm going to take it well inside. Look, we're going to go through there and carefully I'm going to put it inside. When I get to the end of the valve, I'm going to realize why air is going to start coming out of here, you see? There it is. I put it right up to the inside of the valve. It should be about 15 centimeters in and there. The air begins to escape. You need a surface on which to rest it and slowly squeeze it so that the air goes out. It is convenient to squeeze it like this and have a little patience so that the balloon does not get ruined and we can use it again when it no longer has much air. We can fold it in the middle and squeeze it again. And so it was deflated and bent. We can take our balloon out of here in a straw and we can save it. The issue is not to squeeze it too much when we store it, and not to wrinkle it when you fold it. Fold it carefully. This was very simple. If you like today's tutorial, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that we meet every week with new ones. Models. Also, here I leave four ideas for you to choose what you want to continue with. I just have to thank you very much for being here and see you in the next one.